well, now we're going to Ravnica for the third one, and this is actually one of my least favorite planeswalkers. Not for the reason you think. This is Raul Zarik. He's an example of a multicolored planeswalker. He is blue and red, and obviously too. So he's a four mana creature. So average cost, average loyalty, you know, four loyalty, that's usually what you see. He has the plus one. Tap target permanent. Permanent is enchantment, artifact, creature, planeswalker, which there's no reason to tap that. Well, there's one you would tap, but I'll get to him in a bit. Um, and tap means to turn on its side, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, so pretty much anything that's not a one-shot hit or a one-shot thing. If it says instant or sorcery, it's not a permanent. If it says anything else, it's probably a permanent. Um, then untap another target permanent. Useful, but the thing is with the tap thing is when it's someone else's turn, they untap at the beginning of their upkeep, which is like the start of their turn. Uh, yeah. Always fun. I've seen a better version of that ability, and it was a plus one as well. Um, it doesn't untap a permanent, but as well, but it does something better, more useful in my personal opinion, and I'll get to that when I get to that card. Uh, second one. Negative two. So basically, if you use this right away, he's half dead. Zarek deals three damage to target creature or player. Okay, basically a lightning bolt spell that I can pay one mana for. That's probably in a deck with red in it. Yeah, I'd rather pay the red. And honestly, I've seen a plus one that's slightly weaker, but still more useful. Multiple times! One of which does two and sucks out the light. It gives you two heal! And that's a black one! Like... Oh, and his last ability. Oh, his fucking last ability. I hate flip coins. I hate chance. There's already an element of chance in Magic the Gathering. Basically... Luck of the draw. Okay, I can deal with that. It's a deck. You know what's in your deck. You just gotta hope you draw the right things. I don't like coin flip abilities. It adds another element of chance to the game. People have tried to justify this ability with me. Oh, but you can do, like, this card and get even more coin flips to get more... Like, what if you don't get any of the coin flips? And it's not a call it in the air and see if you get it. It's a, it has to be heads, by the way. Calling it I can deal with. Um, I do have a card where... And I have one card that's a coin flip, but either way something good happens for me. So I'm okay with that one card being coin flip. And there's another card I don't really use that's also coin flip, but... It's a cute card, so I just like it for its creepiness. But this, and I own this Planeswalker, that's the depressing thing, and I don't... This is an Is It color deck. You know, there were these guilds, and people were building decks around it, and I have an Is It deck. I didn't put them in it. I ain't sure a lot of Is It players are, like, fucking cringing at me, like, Why didn't you put him in there? Basically, his ultimate is... Flip five coins. Take an extra turn after this one for each coin that comes up heads. Okay, that sounds nice, unless you're the person on the other end. Then it gets really fucking annoying. Except, what if you don't get any heads? And knowing my luck, I wouldn't. You don't get any extra turns. You just killed your planeswalker unless you actually had the wherewithal to boost him up an extra one. And more likely than not, people are going to kill him after that so you don't pull that shit again. In other words, he has a big target on his head, and it's one that's luck-based. Why would I use him? 
I mean, granted, he's not expensive or anything. Thank goodness. That'd actually make it worse. But... Really? I have a slightly more expensive planeswalker that does useful things all over the board, heals him up more for it, and can reboot the whole fucking game. And I get an advantage. Okay, I'll take that chance. I have a planeswalker that can make everything indestructible if I get her off. And she produces tokens, too. I have a planeswalker that can control your turn with his nuke. If this was take an extra turn, I'd be fine with that. That would make sense to me. Okay, that's good. That means I can boost him up again. But take an extra turn for each coin that's heads? That's not fair. Fuck him. He's just... No. Fuck him. I don't like him. He's useless to me. I've seen better abilities on other cards. I don't even think he's good tournament-wise because of that coin flip thing. Yeah, it's too risky. It's just way too risky in my opinion. If I'm completely wrong and there's a use for this, and by the way, I know there's a card that doubles the amount of coins you can flip. That's still luck. And luck it doesn't need to be in a semi-luck-based, semi-skill-based game. I don't like this card. The only reason I won't trade him is because I want a reminder of the worst planeswalker I've ever seen. There, I said it. He is the worst planeswalker I've ever seen. People complain about another planeswalker that's pure red. No. I know how to fix him so he works. It's tricky, but I can do it. I can't fix that. Unless there is a card that can rig coin flips, I can't fix that. And if there is, I will change my opinion the minute I get that card. But I can't fix that right now. So as far as I'm concerned, fuck Zarek. I've seen better, and in my deck, I have one of the Jaces for my Izzet deck. Because Jace frequently has way better cards. Even his worst card is way better than him. good to get that off my chest.